from flyers downtown to social media posts, people are claiming they are getting drugged at one of Spokane's most popular bars. A woman online says it happened to her at the Globe Bar and Kitchen. Today, our Casey Decker spoke with the owner of the Globe. Casey's live downtown now with their response. Casey. Well, Jane Mark, the response today was fairly swift. The Globe's owner says that he's already working to institute some new policies and to cooperate with police and also other bar owners to address the issue of drugging. It began over the weekend with a now deleted Facebook post, which you mentioned, that was actually followed by this posting here, a physical sign outside the Globe saying women are being drugged and that's not okay. Now, we reached out to Spokane Police today and they told us they're not seeing any spike in reports of tampered drinks. That, of course, doesn't mean those incidents aren't happening. The owner of the Globe, Scott Wilburn, says they looked into the matter here and they looked over security footage and although they couldn't find evidence that the customer in question specifically was tampered with, that doesn't mean they're not taking the claim seriously. Anytime anyone says that something happened in the bar, we take every single one of those claims seriously. And, and we try to investigate each one. In response, Wilburn says the Globe is instituting a series of new policies. They'll soon be offering lids for all drinks. They'll post messages around the bar giving advice on how to protect your drink. And if any customer thinks their drink has been tampered with, the bartender will remake it. No questions asked, Wilburn says. He also says that although the posts and signs were catalysts for this change, their policies, he believes, are long overdue. And now Wilburn also told me today he's actually now scheduled meetings this week with other bar owners. They're going to meet together to try to see how they can come up with solutions to address this issue overall. Reporting from downtown Spokane, Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.